This video is intended for informational purposes only and is meant to serve as an overview. It does not intend to facilitate code compliance and shouldn't be used for trainings. For more information on training for the 2021 IECC and deeper analyses of the code, be sure to visit the International Codes Council website or go to the U.S. Department of Energy's BECP website. Now let's get started. There are many significant changes to the commercial provisions of IECC 2021. There are building envelope changes pertaining to air infiltration, fenestration, and opaque services. There are changes to the R value and U factor tables, new definitions and clarifications were added for fenestration, and eight new building envelope requirements were added as well. One of the new requirements is a thermal envelope certificate, which is similar to the residential 2015 IECC energy efficiency certificate. The new commercial certificate must include R values of insulation installed in opaque envelope assemblies, and the U factors and solar heat gain coefficients of fenestration. Results from any building envelope air leakage testing performed on the building must also be included on this certificate. There are important changes to mechanical systems, the performance compliance path, and energy and new extra energy efficiency credits. Almost 50% of the changes were improvements to HVAC efficiency and controls. HVAC efficiency was updated to match ASHRAE tables. Efficiency values in many of the tables are based on federal appliance standard requirements. The new tables added include dedicated outdoor air system or DOAS units, water source heat pumps, variable refrigerant flow cooling and heat pumps, heat pump and heat reclaim chiller packages, ceiling mounted computer room air conditioners, and commercial refrigerators and freezers. There were also changes to the refrigeration, pool, escalator walkway, and computer room mechanical system sections. Service hot water also saw improvements. Now, large service hot water system efficiency is 92%, up from 90%, for systems equal to or greater than 1 million BTUs per hour. Finally, lighting requirements improved for power allowances and controls. There were changes to lighting controls that touched upon exterior lighting, parking garages, digital controls, occupancy sensors, and daylighting. Lighting power densities decreased in many building area and space types, like hospitals, convention centers, dining, and guest room and laboratory spaces. However, there were a few increases as well. The 2021 IECC has also been updated to better align with the ASHRAE 90.1 2019 standard for commercial buildings. For more information, check out NEAP's other videos on the 2021 IECC commercial provisions.